You ready, Tori? I think she's ready. All you gotta do is turn the key. Just boom. Pull it, she's good to go. What's going on everybody? James with That's Right Lawn Care. As you can tell, I'm covered in grass. So, story with this one. Oh, it is tall too. We're gonna stretch Tori's legs. See what she can do. So, I've cut some thick stuff with Tori before. All this up here I had to weed eat just because it's such a small area. I'm gonna try and take the mower over it again. Uh, but we're kind of pressed for time. The sun's over there about to go down and I've still got the rest of this lot down here to get cleaned up so story with this one it's uh foreclosed on the bank probably sold it at auction uh, for a cheap price and somebody came in snatched it up and is going to make a rental property out of it so <clears throat> we're gonna get started on this one some of this grass is really tall i have not walked down through here yet so i'm not sure how the terrain is it seems pretty pretty solid uh, it just rained here probably an hour ago before I got here as soon as I got here I went up there and started weed eating that mess down but I figured we'd get Tori up here to see what she thinks of this now I've already got it set on like the seventh peg or whatever I'm not sure what the height is on that it's like four inches so we're gonna get it cut down. See what we can do. You ready, Tori? I think she's ready. All you gotta do is turn the key. Just pull it, she's good to go.
God bless you. Well, guys, I'd have to say, Tori does a pretty decent job. As thick as some of that stuff was. Now, if you can't tell, there's a cross tie, a railroad tie, whatever you want to call it, right here. And uh, we cannot get up over that. So I'm going to have to weed eat this mess. I was hoping I'd get to mow it, but as soon as I jumped down here, I saw this pole. I said, ah, uh, no. And then there's like concrete and broken glass and uh, whatever those are. This has been a pretty overgrown yard. As far as that up there goes. Still got a bunch to do over here. Still got a little bit of daylight left. I'll try and get this done. Might set y'all up somewhere and uh, let you watch me weed eat. See you in a few. <laughs> guys so i figured i'd just throw you in the truck and uh, record on the way home done for a day hope y'all had an awesome tuesday mine has just now come to an end work wise i'm headed home um i've got my sunglasses on so that i can keep my eyes on the road but it looks like i'm looking at you so anyways <clears throat> that yard was uh was a lot more than i thought it was when i quoted but you win some, you lose some, you learn some. Um, of course, I didn't go around showing the whole yard, so I'm not going to give you an exact price on how much I charged it because if you see what I mowed, you wouldn't have. You would you would have thought that's fine, but I mowed a little bit more than than that. The property, um, I don't think it'd been cut this year. I think she bought it uh, in February, if I'm not mistaken, and she's just now. <laughs> having it cut anyways got it done it's another one off the list i'm having to push four into tomorrow it's because i started a little bit late had a little bit of rain in the area not too much but as y'all saw tori can uh chew up and spit out some grass pretty well i know a lot of people were saying do a get an overgrown yard and and 
put Toro and Skag on it at the same time, and I'm just like, all right. Now, I actually, uh, I did several quotes for Overgrown Yards, and uh, one lady laughed at me about the price. Um, the other two said, well, I'll talk to my husband, or I'll talk to my wife, and I usually know what that means. Do not shoot yourself in the foot over not getting those overgrown yards. Know your worth. I actually did a lot more on that yard than I intended. Um, but that's okay. That's fine with me. I was I still made still made money today. Not worried about it. Um, Jeremy's gonna be back with us tomorrow, hopefully. He had an emergency to take care of today, so I pretty much I told him, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. So got four yards pushed over into tomorrow. I knocked out everything that was really far away. Everything else is pretty much right up the road, close to where we'll be working anyways today. So route density is still on point for tomorrow. Today was a lengthy travel day. My, I went out to my lake yard, sitting at 67 miles right now for the, for the day, for the route. So there was quite a bit of driving to do. I had to go get some prices on some flowers and hydrangeas. And yeah, mowed a bunch of yards. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video right here. I'm going past this golf course that they just cleared out. I'm not a big golfer, but I think I might go play a couple of rounds. I, all, all I want to do whenever I go to the golf course and start golfing is I'll see those ponds and I'll start fishing. I've actually fished a, a golf course pond before with, uh, with a buddy of mine that actually works at the golf course. And he said, hey man, after work one day, you should spring your fishing poles up here. And let's go fishing. So he's a big fisherman too. <clears throat> So we went, we were just, we were reeling them left and right. That was two years ago. And the pond never gets fished. There was a lot of big fish in there. He caught one that was about five pounds. Um, but they were just smacking top water, y'all. It would have been beautiful. If I, if I get the chance to go again, I'd love to. And uh, I'll definitely bring the camera. So anyways, getting off of my exit. Hope y'all had an awesome Tuesday. I had an awesome Tuesday. Got a bunch of stuff done. Got a bunch of yards done. I'm freezing because the air conditioner's on. Y'all haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect. Perfect.